today, even on a Sunday, I have found one specific coin that might be one of the few that will pump exponentially in the coming days. And I want to show you what I actually found. Of course, we're going to talk about Bitcoin and Ethereum and all the trades that we have taken recently. So definitely stick around here. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, like this video and also activate the bell so that you will never miss out on these really, really important updates. And now let me show you what we are going to trade. So first of all, I want to talk about why Bitcoin seems not to stop to go here to the upside. And one metrics that we have to look at is actually the Bitcoin ETF volume. The total volume has hit in its first month $10 billion. Let that sink, sink in. $10 billion. So this is a really, really huge amount. And you see here also over the last couple of days, the volume has increased again. And that is also due to the fact that Bitcoin is pumping uh, over the last couple of days and that um, there is a higher inflow than outflow right now. You know, so which also means that Grayscale is whatever they are dumping. First of all, they are getting tired uh, of selling. So there's not as much as selling going on anymore as it was in, in the beginning. But also the demand is increasing, which leads to um, yeah in increased buying volume here overall. When we are looking at liquidation levels, we see that up here, it gets a little bit denser again, which um, will make a good case for a potential short squeeze uh, higher here. So because a lot of people betting on that we're not touching 50k uh, or that, that we just go slightly uh, above it, you know, so and that's why we see here more shorts coming in already uh, between 48,700 to like 50,500 ish, 51,000. Um, I believe from what I'm seeing right now, that we're actually going to get the push up there. Uh, we have, of course, to be a little bit careful here. I'm going to show you the levels that I'm watching at uh, to consider a potential drop to the downside or a mild correction because we could see a really quick flush here for these overleveraged longs that are basically just sitting beneath us, you know? So this is like, okay, this is a 5% move to the downside, Um an immediate move like this, I'm not expecting something like this unless there's crazy uh, negative news. But here, like 47, yes, 47 is in the cards to flush them out uh, and maybe a quick wick down and straight back up, something like this. So, but they are nice profits. I'm not so concerned about these longs down here. Um, my interest is sitting up here to take out the rest of the liquidity above us because that is also closer than the underlying um, long liquidity. We also see this here on the heat map. On the heat map, on the weekly, even if we would get a correction again, we would most likely get stopped around 46,600 or if worst case, like 46. And from there, get a bounce back up to the upside. Uh, here is also some liquidity still sitting, as I just said, all the way up to like $50,000. Uh, here is approximately $600 million still to be taken in shorts to the upside. I don't want to talk about the downside because there's just way more. There's like a couple billion dollars right now uh, sitting. So, but still, uh, for now, with everything taken in consideration, upcoming halving, ETF inflow, um, bullishness in the market, the sentiment is bullish, I'm not expecting major, major corrections um, until we actually go into the halving. So maybe we get a small shakeout at some point, but for now, um, I'm not expecting here a severe like 20% move to the downside. When we are then going here to the daily chart, here is a key level that we need to break so that we can actually go to $50,000. And that is the monthly pivot here, which is sitting at $48,000, sorry, $49,000, $48 right now. And once we are breaking above that level, I can imagine that we get a quick move here to 51, 52 potentially, um, around these numbers, but you should also not forget that we have a golden ratio sitting up here that could actually stop us. So what I believe is going to happen if we get over the monthly pivot with a daily close, we are going to see a candle pushing to like 52, 53, but this will be a week. We will not close the candle 
uh, above the golden ratio. We will come back into the golden ratio, close the candle here, and then we start the dump. That is uh, what I believe is going to happen here for Bitcoin um, in the long run. You know, not tomorrow, not after tomorrow, um, not until we are above the monthly pivot. So we have to wait for that. Here you see exactly what I meant with the golden ratio here on the weekly chart. So we are trying to break into uh, the golden ratio right now. This is also the reason why we get here a little bit rejected over the whole day already. Uh, so, But if we're breaking into it, then most likely we are also breaking above it a little bit. And I, <laughs> I'm i pretty sure we're going to get a big, big candle um, in the beginning uh, of tomorrow, but then a harsh rejection. Um, so most likely next week it's going to happen, in my opinion. Um, so I have to reiterate what I said, um, it, uh, not tomorrow. Yeah, technically it can happen tomorrow. It would also make the most sense to do it tomorrow, from a market maker perspective because you form the Monday range. So what better way to form the range by pumping the price to the upside to 53, 54, 55 and then reverse it the same day back to like a 46, 45. So that's almost a $10,000 range within the market makers can play for that week. So it, it makes a lot of sense to me to if we would see something like that. If not, then we will get rejected from where we are now, we'll just go a little bit higher than the previous high here. There we have another higher high and then most likely going to reverse tomorrow. So with longs, we should be a little bit careful right now. I'm actually looking at potential shorts here in that region, but I want to see further how the Bitcoin price is reacting around this level. So because, like I said, there is a chance that we we'll break through this. Um, in the next couple of hours, potentially tomorrow, and I don't want to get trapped up off the wrong side of that trade here for Bitcoin. So that's why um, I'm a little bit hesitant. I'm going to give you a setup for Bitcoin if you want to trade it, but I'm a little bit hesitant uh, right now. Here, we have almost hit the technical target of our inverse head and shoulders pattern. Here also, underlying support on the daily chart, uh, big support coming in here at $43,000. Still, uh, you have seen there is also some support based on... Um, the liquidation level is around 46, 45. So, um, but yeah, this is here a major one. And I would consider this the last line of defense for keeping the structure. If we are breaking this support level, the whole market structure is going to change uh, in the short term. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm not expecting that. Worst case, we're coming back here to that trend line, which is around $45,000, and then bounce from there back to the upside into the halving. Team E gap. Yesterday, it looked quite different um, than it does today because now we will have a CME gap with price action opening above Friday's close. So that means also here, the trend has changed now and is favoring a move to the upside to at least uh, $47,800, which is not uh, too crazy. You know, So this is right now a $500 move, but imagine we keep pumping today here over $50,000 to the upside before the market close, before uh, CME is opening. And then we have a CME gap from here to here. And that, that would be really bad to have a CME gap like that. For the time being, this $500 CME gap, I'm not really concerned about this, even though um, I want to call you to caution a little bit because this could be the first... Um, yeah, initiation of a further continuous move to the downside um, if we have a CME gap here around these prices. I'd rather see CME opening more or less around Friday's close and then continue to go higher. Also here, our trade setup. So we have now hit all the take profit points. Here, uh, I will give you the next setup. I think I wanted to do it from here. Ah, no, it was here from the golden ratio. So this here would be my next trade for Bitcoin. Close above the golden ratio at $50,184 with a four hourly close. No, even a one hourly close would be enough for me. Then next target, 53469 to the upside. So this is 6.65%. Imagine you would use here 20x leverage. So that's 133% to the upside and to the downside, you are risking um, 60... 5.8.
So this is, uh, sorry, no, here, uh, 44, uh, sorry, 40%, 40%, 2.0.2 .2 is uh, 40%. Sorry, I got confused with the risk to reward ratio number here. So the risk to reward is 1 to 3.3 more or less. So it's uh, definitely worth uh, taking that trade. Um, like I said, so 40% potential downside risk against 133% uh, to the upside on that specific setup. Uh, I might hedge that trade. So and that means um, if we get, let's say here to like $51,000. So and then like I said here, $45,500. So this would be um, my hedge short. Risk to reward 1, 2, 4, 5, 3. 10.55% uh, potential gain here to the downside. Again, 20x leverage. This is over 200% uh, against a 46 percent uh, stop loss so of course i'm not trading there with insane amounts of money you know so i will use like two percent of my portfolio or something and here on the long uh, the same thing um, if i see a one trade is running too much into a loss and the other one uh, is like wrecking and profits like crazy then uh, i cut of course the one that is losing money that's uh, that's how you play that and guys don't forget if you want to trade anywhere trade with me together on bybit or on bitget on bybit you still get thirty thousand dollars and on both platforms you can apply for a debit card um to spend your crypto actually and if you are um too stupid to make your own trades then trade with me on coin w or on fairdesk there you can just copy trade me you know so every monkey can do this you just put a little bit of money there you find uh, my profile i am crypto and um, yeah, just click on follow trades and that's it, you know, so I, I um, my dog can do this, you know, so um, and you can use both platforms with, without a VPN or KON to do any KYC, which is um, quite nice um, for making profits here on autopilot. But if you are uh, smarter than a monkey and you want to learn how to trade and to, you want to learn it the right way, then go to my education program here to amcrypto.us. There you find uh, different programs and just choose the most uh, suitable for you. So now let's talk about altcoins a little bit. I was quite happy today when I saw that uh, the dominance was dropping first a little bit. Now it's going up because Bitcoin is going up again. But again, uh, I believe that in the worst case scenario, we are going to get stopped here at 54.3% that could coincide with a move to over $50,000. And from there, we are turning around and going to see a small altcoin season um, in the market. So we see already a small one, but it's not uh, really money that is rotating from Bitcoin into altcoins. And that's what we actually want to see here. The total market cap is in direction here still of $1.79 trillion. Nothing has changed there. I, I don't uh, go too much into it. If you guys watching the last... Uh, today's uh, you know um, what my targets are here and then here for ethereum now here things get now also a little bit interesting here we are also around the golden ratio and also here i have a new trade placed if we're breaking above the golden ratio i'm willing to take along here to two thousand seven hundred dollars because different than with bitcoin money from bitcoin will fly uh will um get into ethereum and one other coin that i'm going to show you by the end of this video so make sure that you're still sticking around here until the end because you want to know which coin that is um, and this coin has not moved a lot yet in over the last couple of days not like ethereum or bitcoin if we're getting here a four hourly close above two thousand five hundred twenty seven dollars i'm willing to take a risk here to two thousand seven hundred twenty five dollars to the upside here on the specific trade. The stop loss is at 2,500. So that's a 1% stop loss, more or less, a 20x leverage. So I'm risking here, uh, what do I'm risking here? 20% to the downside and 150% to the upside uh, on that specific setup. Again, guys, if we get rejected from here to the downside, most likely the ABC correction is playing out and also, the, uh, the B here, this high point, can go as high as the 0 0.86, $2,600. So I want you to be aware of that. Uh, we can also turn around at $2,600. So if we are getting here close above 2527 have a close eye when we get close here to $2,603. What's happening with Ethereum? Do we get a severe rejection or uh, are we are slowly grinding higher here in direction of $2,700? 
uh, dollars. Here, uh, one of our trades here um, that I have given actually in the Discord is doing quite well. We are getting close to the target here. Uh, that was, uh, so we are up here, what we are up, like 6% or something since I gave that trade. 4.5% and on the high point, 5.36%. So here, it's not much uh, missing to achieve the target. Uh, I'm quite certain that we're going to reach it in the next couple hours here. So already congratulations for everyone in the Discord for taking this trade. And again, the Discord is for free. You only need a Bybit account uh, signed up with my link and $250 in it to be able to join. So the link is also in the description and in the pin coin below, guys. Then here, another trade, AVAX. We hit our target. Exactly as I said, I would expect if we push a little bit higher and get rejected from this region here, if we continue to pump through this, then we will also go here to approximately $50. If you're still in this trade, you can still write this. Just uh, set your stop loss to like $39.84. And um, yeah, then you can continue to write this. Uh, in any case, the trade should be already a long time ago uh, risk-free for you guys. Then DYDX. DYDX still struggles here a little bit to stay above uh, $2.95. If we can finally manage to stay above that... Um, I, I still believe that we can go here to like $3.22, $3.62, and potentially $4.36. But um, yeah, Stochastic RSI, super high. MACD, still super bullish. RSI also still creeping up here. That These are still uh, good signs here, but I would like to see the Stochastic RSI to come down a little bit, do something like this, and maybe here the price action go another... Three, four days sideways, and then we finally get a big candle to the upside here on DYDX. Honestly, I got stopped out, as I said yesterday, at $3.08 more or less. Uh, so I had a good exit here, uh, and I'm just waiting to re-enter, basically. Then LDO. Uh, LDO is a pain in the ass uh, for me, because we get always close to $3.04 to break it, and then we never break it. Uh, if we finally do break it next week at some point, then it will also moon immediately here to $3.20, $3.24, potentially even higher than that. But we're going to talk about this and when we are getting there. For now, we are also here sitting in nice profits uh, and your stop loss should be around uh, $2.95. So basically halfway uh, that we went already from our entry uh, should be uh, your stop loss here. Then R&DR is another one that I want to talk about. R&DR, if we are breaking here above $4.82, uh, or $4.83 more or less, uh, it will become a buy for me. It will also become a buy for me if we are coming back down here to $4.24. In both scenarios, I I'm going to long this to the upside to at least $5.30, potentially even higher. Let's see here with the Fibonacci extension levels. So here you see this is uh, $5.48, $5.50. That would be uh, my target here. And you see, we are getting rejected here from this golden ratio here, $4.71, $4.74. That is our uh, rejection point right now. If we can close above that with a daily candle, we will continue to pump higher here to like $5.58, $5.50. Hence why um, I'm looking at uh, $4.83 too long from there because then we break here the resistance of all these wicks here. So you see there's heavy resistance. Once we're breaking through this uh, with a one hourly candle, um, I will start laddering into this uh, position. Then uh, the coin that uh, I wanted to mention that has not moved yet a lot is actually Solana. Solana is here in this big symmetrical triangle or bull pennant, whatever you want to call it. So here it is on a four, uh, five minutes chart. Let me put this here on a hourly chart as I had this earlier. So here you see we are close to a breakout. Uh, we need to get the breakout in the next hour, like, let's say in the next two hours. If we are not getting it, most likely we are going to turn around, come down a little bit and potentially invalidating this, which would be not good because I entered it already here at that, um, at that move here three hours ago. So I'm already in it. I just hope I will not get stopped out uh, because it wouldn't it would hurt me a little bit. Uh, basically, almost the pro almost all the profit that I made today with one single trade uh, will be gone, um, almost gone, like 75% of it, if I get, uh, would get stopped out. So I hope I will not get stopped out on this. Uh, but otherwise, just wait for a break here above uh, one, $110. 
uh, I trade this to 114.45. So this is 4.45% uh, profit to the upside. Uh, full disclosure, I'm trading here with over 20x leverage. So that will give me over 100% on, on my position here um, if uh, we are going up here. So I'm just waiting patiently for this breakout. Uh, the five minutes uh, has earlier completely resetted. Hence why I believe that we are close to the breakout on the 15 minutes similar. You know, here's stochastic RSI on the, on the bottom. I just want to see the MACD start to turn around here, uh, which might be the case here soon. Um, RSI is trending up. So, yeah, things looking a little bit better than I did earlier. Uh, and, yeah, I got not, I got actually not stopped out uh, I in this week here. So I, I checked that earlier. So I got lucky here. So normally I should have gotten stopped out, but I, I didn't. That's it for today. Uh, you got a lot of updates here with the altcoins. Let me know in the comments if you have specific altcoins that I should have a look at in the next coming days. And again, let me know which trades did you take and how much profit did you, did you made on it either in percentage or in dollar value or both together, what, whatever you like. Let me know. I'm cu really curious to know uh, how you are doing, guys, with my calls that I give you here absolutely for free on this channel. And don't forget, smash up the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you then again with more profits tomorrow.